Hello all. So we'll continue with the seventh part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So over here we have completed up till here. So you need to create, uh, you know, font. You can just remove this part from here. We can shift this a bit back and push it this also a bit back and take a box on to the top view from here and you can just place it as a plate over here so shift this over here just zoom it and you can rotate a bit that's it so you can uh, reduce the width over here and you can also make a copy over here of the same and rotate it and that's it okay so now uh, you can also use the boolean option over here okay so before that what we'll do is uh, we'll make this kind of a pipe emerging from here so let's select it let's go into the line and there is an option over here can go into the line option there is a insert option so if you use a insert option so let's go to the top view first if you use a insert so you can image this line right from here and keep it like this So you need to adjust it because the line is not perfectly matched. So you need to match the line in a proper manner. So you can just push this over here. As is, this is going to get connected over here. And this part should go over here like this that's it so you can just check out as you can see this is a kind of a exhaust which is going to come over here from this side so click over here push this up and go to the vertices push this a bit up and if you are done with it you can just right click or before that you can just select the vertices if you want you can just click on this vertices and you have a bit of a fillet option you can use a fillet option over here also So you have a fillet option that's it so convert to editable poly after you are done with it now click on this part before doing it what we can do is you can add a loop over here do add a loop over here select the polygons so just select the polygons and extrude it in local normal reduce it and click ok so if you want then you can do that you can extrude it more if you want it 
and click OK. So after you have extruded it, just select all this, ring it, control and click on this polygons, select all this path. After that, use a bevel option over here. Can use a bevel over here. Push it up, click OK. Again, use a bevel and reduce this and click OK. That's it. So now you can just select and delete this particular area and you can click on the border of it and shift and you can extrude it inside that's it you can just save the file and now on the other hand you can click over here right click refine you can add some refine to it so go into the vertices and you can you can just reshape it like this select this and push this out select this part and there is an option called fillet you can use a bit of fillet to it from the other side is you see over here you require this part so you can make a cylinder you can take a cylinder over here take a line or take a rectangle over here and just click enable in viewport convert to editable spline go to the vertices and you can use a fillet option over here and you can use a same extrude modifier over right here after you are done with this you can use the 90 degree option over here use the 90 degree option so you can uh, easily rotate it after you are done with this stuff you can easily rotate and push this up over here increase the extrude push this over here so you can push this up and you can off this option and you can still rotate it up like this so you can uh, change the color over here as you can see over here so you can right click convert to editable poly if you want you can convert to editable poly go into vertices push this over here so select this and insert it and bevel it or extrude it and isolate it so as you can see you have extruded it inside and you beveled it the next part your tail or you can for this
click over here take a box so convert this to editable poly resize it push this up over here can scale a bit so <clears throat> select this use the bevel option push it back click ok now select this edges and give a chamfer so you can increase the chamfer over here and click ok so if you want this to be worked as a light you can utilize it in this particular way take again a box or take a rectangle so use a rectangle click over here convert to editable spline take a spline select this and use a bit of fillet ok and use a extrude modifier and convert to editable poly push this up and you can rotate it in this way so you can rotate it in this particular way So you can rotate it that's it okay so now if you want to uh, make some kind of uh, you know holes over here so you can use a cylinder over here We can just make a copy of it. So as many copies you want, you can just take the copies. Select this. Uh, convert to editable poly first. Go over here, compound objects, pro boolean. Start picking. So you can just go on picking it. It's going to get, you know, subtract this particular area so same thing can be uh, done with this also or you can just copy this part over here and you can rotate it that's it Okay. We can push this. We copied this. We need to. Let's save the file. Okay, 
so we'll continue in the next part so thanks for watching this tutorial